Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make this large hicho style pendant. I know it's large but I'm showing step by step each row and I'm sure that you're going to be able to make it by yourself. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell and you also help me with liking and sharing this video so much. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. Check description for useful resources and you will see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel. Also link down there. And now without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are five colors of 11 ounce seed beads, black, green, light purple, purple and red. You could use others of your choice. Here I'm using a bale and you could use some kind of chain because this is a pendant you are making here. And this is size D Nemo nylon thread. By the way, you could check description for full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel and links to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials. I will be so happy to see them and uh, you will also see what you get if you decide to become a member of this channel, which now besides the other perks is a course of five videos with Peyote Stitch. Okay, let's continue. This is size 11 beading needle. You could use size 12 or size 10. It's better to use 11 or 12 because it will be easier for you. These are scissors and these are pliers that are not obligatory. I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads and probably to open my bail and attach the pendant. Okay, and now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle, but later probably I will need to add more thread. See you in a while. Okay guys, and I'm going to start my work by picking up four of these beautiful black beads. Okay, and I have my four beads here. I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop but going twice through the loop I've made. and pull and I will make one more knot okay now guys I have this beautiful cross of four beads which is also called right angle weave then I'm going in one of my black beads like this Okay, like this and I'm going to pick up one green bead and I'm going in the following black okay now I have this then I'm going to pick up one more green and I'm going in the next black okay and I will repeat this two more times Okay, now I have this beautiful shape here and what I want to do is exit through one of those green beads and I'm going to pick up three black beads, okay, three of them and as I'm exiting through this green, I'm going in the other green, then what I want to do is repeat it, okay, three and exiting out of one of the greens I'm going through the other one okay and I will do this guys two more times okay now I have this 
Now in my next step I'm exiting through the middle one of these three black beads that we just added. The one that is sticking out the most and I'm going to take two light orange beads, one black and two light orange. Okay, this is what I have. And as I'm exiting through this black, I'm going in the other black that is sticking out the most. Okay, I'm going to repeat this. Okay, five again. And I go here in this black. Okay, again, two more times, I mean. Okay, so when I pull I have this and now what I want to do is go through all of those beads in this direction and I'm exiting here at this gap and I need a light pink, a black and a light pink. Okay, I have them and I'm going through all of those beads reaching the black one and I pull then I go again at this gap and I want to add the same sequence pink black pink Okay, and I will do this two more times. Okay, guys, now I have this. And as I'm exiting from this pink, I'm going to take five dark pink beads. Okay, I have my five here. And I'm going in the other black bead. Then again I'm taking five beads. Okay, five of them. And I go like this. Then I will show you one more time. Okay, and now I will do this until the end of this row. It's absolutely the same thing. Add five and connect the black beads and I'll meet you here. Okay, guys, and I have here my last five beads that I'm adding. And I'm going here through this black one. Just like I did all the time. And now I want to go through two pink beads of the five that I just added. So I'm exiting next to the one that's sticking out the most. And I want to add three dark pink beads. And I skip the middle one, which is the third one counting from here. It is the, the middle one because you see here I have two and I have two. This is the middle one and now I need a red, a black and a red. And I go here in the second dark pink bead counting from the black one. From the center, okay, from this one, one, two. Okay, then I need three pink beads. Okay, three dark pink. Skip the one here in the center. Okay, and go through the following. And now I have this. Then again, red, black, red. Okay, here they are. And go through the second dark pink bead. Counting from the black one. Or from the center to the outside. Okay. Then I need three dark 
pink beads. You could do it with yellow, orange, red if you want. Another type of gradation of colors. Okay. Skip the top one and go through the next. And then again, red, black, red. And I go like this. And this, guys, is what I'm going to be doing until the end. Three pinks, red, black, red. Three pinks, red, black, red. And I'll meet you here. Okay, guys. And here I am where I'm adding my last three red, black, red. And I'm adding them the same way in the second pink counting from the black one. Okay. Now I have this and don't worry that at this stage this is bending, we'll fix it later. Okay, and now I'm going through the middle pink bead and I'm going to take three red beads. Okay, three. And as I'm exiting here, I'm going in the central black one. Okay. Then again, I'm taking three and I go here in this one that's sticking out the most. Three again. And go here. Then again three. And go here in the top one. And until the end of this row guys, you're gonna be adding three red beads everywhere. It's a really easy and pleasant row, plus everything will go straight at the end of it. So continue. By the way, if you're using monofilament, maybe it won't go straight. Maybe at a later stage and you will need to iron the whole thing to look good. So probably it's better to use this type of thread. And then if you want, reinforce it with another thread. Okay, I will continue this and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm adding them here at the pink one. And I'm pulling. Okay. Then what I want to do is exit through the middle of the three newly added beads. Or here I'm going through two red beads in this direction. And what I need to add here is a black, a green and a black. Okay, this is what I'm, I have on my needle. And again, I'm going in the middle of these three red beads that I added. Now, what I need are five red beads. Okay, I need five. And I'm going here in the middle one of these three beads again in the same place. Okay, then again, what I need is a black, a green and a black. And again in the second red one. Okay, then again five reds. And in the second. And I'll show you one more time and let you do this by yourself until the end. Black, green, black. And go in the second. Or in the middle. Okay, then five, three, five, three. And when I'm up to here, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay, guys. And here I am where I'm adding my last five beads from this row. And again, what I need to do is go here in this middle red bead. Okay. Then I will go through all of those beads in this direction. And I want to exit here next to the bead that is sticking out the most or the middle of the five beads that I added next to it. Okay, and I take three, skip the one that's sticking out the most or the middle of the five beads, as I said, and go here. 
Now what I need to add is a black and two green beads. Okay, and I'm going here in the green one. And I have this. Then I will take the other way around, two greens and one black, because I want my greens to be next to the green. So that is why I'm taking them in this order. And then I go here in this one, which is the second of my five beads that I added in my previous step. And I need three red beads. And I skip the central one that is sticking out the most and go like this. Then again, what I take is a black one and two green beads. And I go in the central green, just like this. Then two greens and one black the other way around and go in this one which is next to the central one okay then here three red beads again go skip one and go through the following then again a black and two greens and go in the center and I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. And when I'm ready, I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. And until then, if you forget how I'm doing these steps, just rewind the video. See how I make the first three moves here and continue until the end the same way. Okay, see you in a while. Okay, guys, and I'm adding here my last beads from this row and what I want to do next is go here at the top through the one that's sticking out the most and I'm going to take three black beads okay three of them and I go here through the first green one then again I'm taking three black beads okay three and I go here in the last green one. Then again, what I want to take are three black beads. And I go here in the one that's sticking out the most. Three and through the first green. Then again, three and through the green again. And then one, two, three. Okay, and here in the top. And I will continue these guys until the end of this row and I'll be back. Okay, guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row. And I'm going to do an additional row just to straighten up those lines here. And how I do this, I go through the middle of those black beads that I added. Take three black beads and go in the middle one here. I'm just going to be connecting the middle beads of my previous row. Okay. Three again then three and go through the middle one okay and i'm gonna continue this and when i'm up to here i'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and i'm here where i'm adding my last three beads from this row and now guys, what I want to do is go here and reinforce the edge and also make some cute angles. If you're not familiar, just look at what I'm doing. I'm going through the first of these three beads that are on my way. I'm skipping the middle one here. 
and when I pull this middle one goes in this direction and pops out okay this is what I do and then I go through this one here in the center and through the first of the three beads that are coming on my way that I added in my previous step okay this one two three I'm skipping the middle one of them and I go here in the next two and when I pull you see I have an angle here also my edge straightens up a little bit and has a nice form okay then I go in the next skip the middle one and go through the following two I'm going into just to save time okay and pop out this bead I'll show you one more time and let you do this until the end okay I go through the first of the three beads that I added skip the middle one and go in the next two and when I pull I help it a little bit but it goes out in this direction okay and I'm gonna be finishing this row and I'll be back okay guys and although this row is time consuming it is really satisfying because at the end everything looks nice and straight and with a firm edge uh, and now here I'm going to make a loop to attach my bail okay I'm exiting here through this top bead I'm taking five beads and I'm going like this then what I want to do is reinforce here this joint okay and after I reinforce it what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread okay I'm making here a loop and I'm going twice through the loop I've made and then I'm pulling and then I go here through the following seed bead and what I do is that I cut my thread okay now I will put my bail and my chain and I'll be back okay guys and now my large kicho style pendant is ready so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and also hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make new tutorials down there in description you will see a full list of materials link for PayPal donations to develop this channel link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram I will be so happy to see them and don't forget that if you become a member of this channel it comes with a lot of perks also link in description thank you so much for watching see the next video on your screens bye bye